Next, you must discover the purpose to use the lob, but it's also introdu introduction of using a lot of two-hand techniques. If he lobs, and if he punch away from my center, such as towards the outside, it would not make sense for my hands to go out and lob him. Then I'm crossing my own hand. Then I'd be in a bad situation. So therefore, if he's attacking outside of you, closer towards your shoulder, then you can continue to occupy your center from bone to tan. This is how you change into tan da. Now from my left, we just change to the right now. Then he continue with the lap cell. So the partner, I can dictate his change by punching away from the center. Then he will bone into the, the tan cell. Then we continue that. As your attribute reaction become quicker, then your partner would know. So as you can see, the drill will eventually develop more of uh, attributes. Okay, the second change you can do as you are, as he is lopping you, because if your hands is in the correct position on the center line, he actually is outside of center. So in essence, you do have a better position. So you can lob and beat him to it. See? So as he's challenging my center, my punch is already there. So I can grab and punch. So I can do the correct lap da, lap da, lap da. Okay, if you want to keep the sequence flowing, continue to flow. If I punch him away, then he does tanda. So you see the different variations. We don't change just because we want it to. There's a reason why we change. Okay, if you want to train your punching hands to continue to occupy your center line for follow-up hand, then you can just continue to lap down. Of course, he's in my striking distance, but the idea is not to hit, to really understand and reinforce the concept. Okay? So again, tanda. Tanda, lapda, lapda. So that's a basic sequence of lapsa drill. Mm -hmm.